Hello everybody and welcome to part two of making a dodge the ball game. Last time we ended off making our bear walking and our baseball script. And if you forgot what we're making, there's an example on screen of the final product. So let's just get into the rest of the video right now. So last time we ended off with our bear walking script and our baseball falling script. Now what we wanna do is make our apple script. So let's go to baseball, and if we right click, there's an option to duplicate. We can click, click duplicate, and it makes two baseballs. What we want to do is go to costumes. Let's go to choose a costume, and let's go to not paint. Let's go to choose a costume. Our apple script is very similar to our baseball as they both fall down to the sky, which is why we duplicated them. Let's select apple. Let's click on baseball and delete it. So basically, if we click the green flag, we can see that both baseballs and apples fall from the sky. Next, we want it just to be a little different, or we want our apples to fall at a different rate than our baseballs will fall. So let's just make this wait two seconds. And that's basically it. So it's just going to wait a little bit longer before it spawns in. So if we click the green flag, we can see that the baseball and the apple start falling in at different times. Oh, those spawn together. That's rare. But now let's make it so it senses if our bear is touching the apple, which will broadcast a different message, or it will change a point. So if touching bear walking, we don't want to broadcast you failed in the apple script because apples are good and not bad like baseballs. So let's click new message and we can say points, exclamation point, broadcast points. So it will broadcast the points. So when I receive points, we're just going to uh, change this in our backdrop, or no, in our Apple script. When I receive points, we want to make a variable right now called points. So let's select for this sprite only. So when I receive points, we want it to change points by one. So whenever we touch the apple, our points will change by one. Let's just make it so our points always are set to zero at the very beginning. Set points to zero when green flag clicked. So when it touches the bear, it will change points by one. Now, we don't want our bear to continuously change points or eat the same apple over and over again because we only want it to do it once. So once it broadcasts points, we want it to delete this clone. So when I receive points, we want to change the points by one, and then we want it to delete the apple. So if we click the green flag, if I touch the apple, we can see that it disappears. If I touch that, oh, I didn't get to that apple, but if I touch that apple, it disappears. But if I don't, it just disappears when it hits the ground. That is exactly what we were aiming for, and we can also see that our points went up during that. Next, we can just double click on points right here, and let's just drag it to right here, and let's go to our backdrops area. Go to backdrops, and let's just get our text and make it black, and let's type in points, and then a colon. Let's just make our font a little different, like this, and I'll drag it to the top left corner. And then just put your points right here. We can just put it like that. So we can see our points are set to zero. Oh, and then when we collect an apple, it goes up one. We collect that apple, it went up one. Oh, let's see if I can catch that one. Oh, and I've gotten five points so far. So we've set up our point system. And now let's just make it so we could Oh no, project could not save. Let's just go to file, save now. There we go. Oh, try again. <laughs> Let's just ignore that for now. So we've made our baseball falling and our apple falling. We set it up for whenever we touch an apple, our points go up by one. But we want to make it so if we touch the baseball, we want it to show a you failed screen. So let's go to backdrops and click on backdrops. And let's go to this backdrop one. Let's just make a text saying, you failed, exclamation point. 
But before we do this, let's just delete you failed quickly. Let's just go to rectangle and fill, and let's just make a screen, maybe like a blue, like so. Just drag it to the desktop, and let's go into text, make it black again. And now let's type, you failed. Let's drag this all the way bigger and drag it to the very middle of the screen. So we, it will say, you failed. Now for our code, we want it, when our green flag clicked, we want it to be our normal backdrop. So let's go to looks, and we want to switch our backdrop to blue sky. But when we receive our you failed message, we want it to switch the backdrop to backdrop one or the you failed screen. So when I click the green flag, we can see that, oh, and we can see that it actually showed the you failed screen when I touched the baseball. So we've set up our you failed screen. Now we want everything else to disappear when our when we sense that every your level has failed or you failed. So when I, when I receive you failed, we want our character to hide. But of course, we want it to show at the very beginning. Let's do the same for our ground. So when green flag clicked, we want it to be shown. But when I receive you failed, we want it to hide. Our code's very similar but different for our clones. Just when green flag clicked, we want it to hide. We already made hide and show. But when I receive you failed, there's a special block called stop all, which basically just stops everything from making clones instead of hide. Otherwise, it'll still make clones. So when I receive you failed, stop all. And let's do the same for our apple. Let's just drag in one stop all, and then let's go up till we see when I receive you failed. So when, let's just try this out. When I click the green flag, we can see that I'm dodging the baseballs. Oh, I got a point from that apple. But let's say I get hit by one of the baseballs and it shows you failed. What we don't want is our points up here. So let's just go to apples and there's this in, click on variables. We can actually show the variable when the, when the game starts out, but we can hide the variable when we see you failed. So let's just try this one more time. Unfortunately, my variable is showing. I'm not sure why. Oh, there we go. It's deselected now. I'll just go into full screen. So when green flag, why is my variable? Oh, I know why my variable is showing. Let's actually set this to points and not my variable. So let's just go back into full screen. Wow, my variable is still showing. Let's just, oh, now we got to hide my variable. Okay, so now let's go into full screen. We can see that our bear is dodging. Oh, we just collected that apple. But let's say we got hit by the baseball, and it shows you failed. Perfect. So we've completed our dodge the balls games. And if you enjoyed this or learned something new or your game turned out really well, It'd really mean a lot if you liked and subscribed, as it really helps me out. And I'll catch everyone in the next video. Goodbye.